Hey guys, it's me, Holly Madison. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are building our travel makeup kits together. I love this case. I have this case in a different color at my Vegas home and I realized I didn't have a travel makeup kit ready to go at my LA home. So I decided to build one today and I love having travel stuff ready to go. So at a moment's notice, I don't have to do a lot of packing. I'll just switch up my clothes, but my toiletries, my hair products and my makeup will be ready to go. I also love having a makeup kit ready to go because if I'm going for a photo shoot or filming something and want to touch up my own makeup, which I usually do, I can't remember the last time I've used a makeup artist for anything. It's just ready and I'm not like losing makeup products because I have to take from what I use at my house from day to day. I have this whole separate kit. So I tried to build this using the most affordable products possible. There are some ride or die items in here that aren't technically drugstore, but I'm using as many drugstore products as possible. And buying all this stuff, including the case and everything in it was a little less than $400. So, which kind of sounds like a lot just for an extra set of makeup, but it could be worse, as you know, if you've sh shopped other kinds of makeup brands. So as you can see, everything in here fits so well. It's so organized. It's so clean. I even have a special little case for beauty blenders. So your, be be so your beauty blenders aren't like getting makeup all over everything and brushes are in here. Everything's in here. So if you want to see how to build this makeup travel kit with everything you need in it please hit the like and subscribe button and let's get started you guys i look like the biggest ghoul right now i decided to just put on like my bb cream and my color corrector and i just look like the undead so there's that but also i wanted to show you the case i'm using this you can get on amazon it's like the top rated one it might even be the one they suggest is like amazon's choice it's re-level, re-level. I don't know how they say this. But anyway, I have one like this, but it's purple canvas for my house in Vegas. And then I got this cute pink one for my house in LA. And what I love about it is on the inside, they have these compartments, but you can see the slots here. You can kind of like mix and match and move these around so it can fit your products. Like I made this one just wide enough to fit a particular eyeshadow palette. I made this one just wide enough to fit this case I have for beauty blenders. And yeah, I love it. It also has this section in the lid where you can put brushes and like pencils and things like that. And then this pocket for also some smaller palettes and things like that. And also if you have a bigger palette that doesn't really fit, you can lay like one palette on top of everything here. And it might be a little full when you try and zip it, but it's the same as like when you're trying to zip like a kind of full suitcase, but it still works. So this is what we're starting out with. And I'll start, I'm just, should I cover this color corrector or should I just keep going looking like I just came out of zombie land? I'm going to go with zombie. My haters must just love these videos because I come on looking like the undead. So my philosophy with makeup as far as the travel size stuff is I don't really do it. I feel like this case gives me enough space for most of my full size products. And the reason I don't love using and the reason I don't love using the travel size products is sometimes I'll go on a trip for like a week or more. And let's be real, there's some products where if I'm to get the teeny tiny like Tarte Shape Tape travel size, I'm gonna run out of that within a week. So I'd rather just bring the full one and know that I'm not gonna have to go on a random Ulta run on my trip. So the one thing I do condense down though is this Bliss Drench and Quench, I hate that word, the Bliss Drench and Quench Cream that I like to use as an additional moisturizer for under my eyes. I put that in my makeup kit and this is just a little bit bulky. This is what the lid looks like right here. And this just takes up a little more space than I would like in my makeup bag. So I take, this is like a sample size skin cream jar, but you can also go to the drugstore and get those little travel kits they sell where it'll have like the empty plastic containers and the little jars. You can usually find it in the travel section. And I just scoop some of this product out and put it in here because I don't use very much of it. I just, it's not my whole face moisturizer. I usually use like Aveeno and I don't put that in my makeup kit. I put it in a separate bag that I use for like basic toiletries, like along with, you know, my toothbrush and my floss and things like that. But this Bliss Cream, since I use it right under my eyes before I put my makeup on, I do want that in my makeup kit. And I only use a little bit of it so that even this tiny little travel size jar would last me a really long time. 
I just say I love the blue color. It's so pretty. So I'm going to start with products I already have on my face. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm going to put that right over here. I love these slots because you can see how neatly the little containers fit in there. And for my face today, I'm using the Dream BB Pure. It's just the BB cream I love to use on a casual day. But also, I'm going to bring something a little more full coverage as well. So I'm doing the Matte and Poreless from Maybelline. It's the Fit Me 220. Throw that in there. Also under my eyes, in addition to that cream I just told you about, I'm using Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I'm gonna put this, this is gonna be more of like the eye slash tool section. This is kind of more the face section. And like I said, an eyeshadow palette also fits on top of here. So I'm not super organized as far as what goes where, but I kind of keep a theme to it just so I know where to grab. And this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Color Corrector that as you saw earlier, I'm wearing and looking like a zombie. For powder, as you know, if you watch my videos, you know I love Cody Airspun, but it's kind of a big package. So this is, I'm trying to use mostly drugstore products here. This isn't a drugstore, this is Beauty Bakery, and they have the cutest packaging, by the way. And I love this powder, but it's just small enough that it, but it's just small enough that it fits very neatly in here. And they also make a little travel size. I don't know how available this is for purchase. It was a freebie when I ordered a bunch of their products. But if your face doesn't get too shiny, mine gets really shiny, so I wanna bring the whole shebang. But if your face doesn't get that shiny, you might wanna look for a travel loose powder. I'm not gonna go that route, but just so you know, they exist. Also, because I'm queen shiny face, I'm also doing blotting papers. I'm gonna put that right here. And I'm also doing a compact I can fit in my purse. This is L'Oreal True Match. Again, I wanted to try and use as many affordable products as I could, just go for the drugstore stuff. But also, just being real, if I'm going on a trip, I'm gonna want the things that work the best for me. So I'm definitely bringing Tarte Shape Tape, my favorite concealer. I'm gonna finally cover up these zombie circles. One thing with my travel kit is I always used to put my beauty blenders like in a little Ziploc bag just because they get dirty. Like, let's be real, we're not washing them every single time we use them. And when I'm traveling, I just don't want to bring a big bag of beauty blenders to like switch them out all the time. So I found this cute little thing on Amazon. It's this little kitty cat and it keeps your beauty blender nice and safe in here. And it also, I haven't unwrapped it yet, it has this little spiral thing. So when you wash your beauty blender, you can put it in here to let it dry. So that is super cute and it'll keep your makeup bag nice and clean and you won't be getting your concealer everywhere. I also love the tiny beauty blenders for like the corners of my eye and things like that. And you can just take one and shove it right in with the other beauty blender. They're smushy, they fit. So for brushes, I got the Wet n Wild brush kit. I will link it below. And it also comes with this flat case. So if you wanna pack them separately from your makeup and also have this, that way you have a little more room in your case, go for it. I go ahead and just take what I need and put them in my case. I use a big brush for powder, a smaller one for blush and bronzer, and a little concealer brush that I use for contour, this little comb that I use for my lashes, a fluffy brush for under my eyes, these two brushes for shadow. And the only thing I feel like the Wet n Wild brush kit is really missing that I want is a medium angled shading brush. So I brought this one from Sigma, that's the E70. And then my favorite from the Wet n Wild kit, this is what I use on my brows. It's their liner brush. It's one of the thinnest brushes I've ever found. So you can really imitate those brush strokes that look like little eyebrow hairs. And I put them in the pocket behind the lid of my case. I also like to have a little tool section where I have my tweezer man tweezers that come in this cute little case. A little pair of scissors for eyebrow hair, for false lashes. These are just Revlon scissors. And then like a little Revlon sharpener. Most sharpeners have the lid so you don't have the pieces falling out, but definitely be sure you get that as opposed to just like an open one so you're not making a mess everywhere while you travel. I'm also taking the Almay Brow Styler. I'm gonna put that in my brows to keep them in place and let that dry before I draw my brows in. 
For contour, I'm bringing the e.l.f. Contour Palette. It's very small and compact. If you watch my videos, you know my favorite contour is the KKW Palette, but this one's a little bit smaller. It's definitely affordable. You can get it at the drugstore. I forgot, I'm also taking my Wet n Wild Stippling Brush out of that kit. For blush, I'm using L'Oreal True Match. It's another one of those little cases that fits perfectly in that section of my case. If you're wondering why I'm using a different brush than I recommended, and that I put in my kit, it's because I'm gonna keep those brushes clean for now. I love a lot of blush, guys. Let's throw on some bronzer. I'm using Rimmel Sundance. I'm also bringing the Maybelline Master Chrome in case I want a highlight while I'm out on my trip, but I'm not gonna put it on today because today's a casual day. Two more things I'm not gonna wear today because I'm being casual, but I'm definitely bringing because I know I would want these is the Tarte Double Take Eyeliner, my favorite eyeliner in the world. And also this Milani Coal for my waterline. So for brows, like I said, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild liner brush because it's really thin. And also this Wet n Wild brow kit in Ash Brown. Okay, I'm back from brows. So we are also going to throw in the bag, a Maybelline Colossal Mascara. For lips, I'm gonna throw in some Rosebud Salve to keep my lips hydrated. I'm gonna do two different colors for lips. I have um, a Maybelline Totally Toffee for neutral or dark, depending on how dark you wanna put this on, um, and a Revlon Red. And then for lipsticks, I'm gonna go Matte Naked from Milani and this British Red from L'Oreal. For some glosses, I'm gonna throw in my favorite Bobbi Brown Petal. Again, this isn't from the drugstore, but it is an absolute favorite. I don't really leave home without it. And another one, Frankie Rose X-Rated. This stuff does not come off. Again, not a drugstore, but just being real with you guys. I have lash extensions on today, but I do like to bring some Ardell Demi Wispies and some Duo Lash Glue with me. So the lashes I'm shoving into the lid along with the um, e.l.f. concealer palette, and it's getting a little tight in here. For eyeshadow, I'm not putting any on today because it's a really casual day for me with the kids but I'm throwing in this L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted. This has all the colors I like to use and it's kind of small and it fits into that little spot I showed you guys. And then for a little more dramatic look, I'm throwing in the e.l.f. Rose Gold Sunset. I'm gonna throw that into the lid section. That in there since it's nice and skinny. And you guys, I think that's it. So there's not any super dramatic theatrical looks in here, no like, glitters or like jewels for my eyelids or anything like that but this covers like most of the basic looks I like to do everything from a really light day-to-day -day look to like a more bold red lip you can see it all fits in here nicely you can see I have like my lipsticks my bronzer and my highlighter the elf pour putty the beauty blenders. These are like my tools, my glue, my mascara, my brow palette. I have this eyeshadow palette right here and it's covering up my face stuff like my concealer, BB cream, foundation, eye cream, blotting paper. I can actually move the eye cream over to the section that has more eye stuff. And as you can see, the top is packed out with brushes, pencils, liners. I have my lashes. Um, my thin elf eyeshadow palette and my contour palette in the lid and this is really full but i can still zip it up yeah this is packed to the brim i'm like shoving it closed here we go we are ready to go i have all my makeup in here i could bring this to a photo shoot and be able to fix any look i'm doing so as you can see it's bulging in the sides a little bit it probably wouldn't be if i didn't add the lashes actually let me see if i can fit the lashes in better because you can roll like this, but I want a little smoother look. This is kind of bulky. I think maybe if I take the lashes out of the case, that might help. Yeah, so I take it out of the case, which makes it a little smaller, and you can still, this still has the plastic protective over it, and I'm just putting it right on top of where I have the eyeshadow palette, and it fits perfectly. So here we go. As you can see, it's still a little bit out of shape from last time, but that's from last time it's not it'll go back so there we go this is my makeup kit so let me know what your favorite things to bring with you in a travel kit are and let me know in the comment section what kind of video you'd like to see next bye